Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tom Cat's to Tree. I'm Whitney and I'm here to share the um, remainder of my tops for my spring capsule wardrobe that you guys have yet to see. I'm also just realizing that I have zero jewelry on. <laughs> Oh, folks, it has been a week. Before we get into this video, this is the last full week of school that my kids have. Next week starts like finals, so they are only in school half a day. They have two classes each day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. The stress levels are high in my household right now. <laughs> lots of projects, lots of papers that I've been helping to edit and proofread and all that kind of stuff. It's just been crazy. But... We are coming to the end of Me Made May. I've been wearing my spring capsule all spring. It's almost time for the summer capsule planning and all of that jazz. So I wanted to finish showing you guys um, the rest of the pieces in my spring capsule wardrobe, which are just these tops. And I'm pretty sure, I was just looking at my list, which is just right off of the frame here. I'm pretty sure that everything else you have seen, even if it hasn't been like here are my bottoms or whatever, because a lot of stuff came back in. I am going to do a roundup. Um, let's see next Friday, I guess. So the first Friday in June, which I think is next Friday. <laughs> oh, where does the time go? Is that right? No, not next Friday, the Friday after. So in two weeks time, soon as May is finished, I'm going to do a roundup of Me Made May and of my spring capsule wardrobe. And um, yeah, so I will do kind of a roundup. I, don't, I mean, I'm not going to necessarily have myself in like in all the outfits like a try on. Um, but I'm, I just got Canva Pro and I'm going to mess around with some of the um, photo elements, you know, taking pictures, taking backgrounds out, see if I can put something together um, like a something where you guys can <laughs> see kind of everything that was in my uh, spring capsule wardrobe, like a flat lay kind of type thing. So we'll see. Um, we'll see if I can figure that out. <laughs> Okay, so today, Love Notions Feature Friday pattern is the Rhapsody blouse, folks. You, If you've been watching my channel any amount of time, you know that this is probably, probably my favorite Love Notions pattern. It's definitely in like the top three, and I'd say it's in like the top five patterns, period, like across all patterns. Um, so if you don't have this one yet, the amount of variations that come with this pattern are insane. I'll pop a graphic here. Um, but another big bonus, I have a new Rhapsody here that I'm going to show you. But over on the Love Notions channel, I am over there today talking about the Rhapsody, showing you my collection. I have seven in my wardrobe right now. One you haven't seen even after today, um, but you can go over to the Love Notions channel to see it. And I'm also showing you how to sew, uh, finish off the neckline. It's a little bit tricky because there's a little V piece that you do kind of like a continuous lap placket wrap with the bias. Um, and then I finish mine off with the bias tape on the inside like a bias tape facing. So I'm doing all of that over on Love Notions channel. I will link to that video down in the description box below. Um, so yeah, that is the exciting things that are going on today. And again, the pattern is $5 today only. Use Tomcat 10, you can get an additional 10% off that pattern um, today only, which today is the 20th of May, 2022. So <laughs> definitely that if you, this is not part of your catalog yet, go grab that. If it is a part of your catalog, now is the time to sew it up and we'll get to that here in just a second. <laughs> okay. Let's get in to my four new tops for um, my spring capsule wardrobe. Now, these aren't the only things that I, I sewed for my spring capsule. You know, you've already seen my Metro blazer. What else did I make? I'm kind of looking over there. I bought a couple of things. I bought a graphic tee from Old Navy. I bought a um, kind of a red, like my warm red, real thin sweater, which I actually haven't worn very much recently because the weather has been very hot. Hold on. I've all just totally dried out on me. Sorry. Um, what else we got over there? And then the rest of the stuff kind of all just came from, you know, this, this Lincoln top is part of it. Um, my button up white shirt was, is part of it. All of my active wear tops that you saw last week. Um, was that last week? Whenever that was, <laughs> I'll pop a link up to that video. Um, all of that, you know, you guys have seen all of that. You know, I brought my striped, tea, my Concord tee back in, you know, things like that, that you guys have already seen that just, you know, came from my regular wardrobe. So these are the four pieces that you've not yet seen, um, which by the way, I'm wearing my Metro blazer all the time. I just want to really quickly say, if you've not made that pattern yet and you bought it when it was, because it was the Feature Friday pattern not that long ago, 
and um, if you bought it in that sale, highly recommend, or even in the big sale they just did, highly recommend that pattern, make that up in a beautiful ponte. That has saved my hide on a couple of different occasions where I've needed to dress up just a little bit, but I wanted to be comfortable. We went to Chicago, I went and saw a comedian in Chicago with my sister and my cousin and my sister's best friend. Everyone was freaking out about what they were gonna wear to look trendy, but not, but still be comfortable because none of us wanted to have a heel on. So we're walking around Chicago and that blazer came and saved the day. And it's just, oh, so much good stuff. But let's get into this. Okay, I'll start here at the um, left and move to the right. Is that how you're watching this too? Left to right? We're gonna start over here. <laughs> okay, so. I've been wearing my um, Sinclair Patterns Harper cardigan a ton. Both my um, camel colors one and my navy one have been being worn pretty much all spring. Um, but I wanted something a little bit shorter and a little bit cropped. This is the Marlowe cardigan by True Bias. And oh, as a reminder, my colors for this capsule. I'm just gonna stick that right here so you can kind of see the colors I'm working with. And I thought it would be fun to put in the purple I was working with to put that into the capsule in form of like a layering piece. And um, I had made the Marlowe, it was the um, pattern that was in the uh, Cool Stitches box. Oh, this winter. What wonderful fabric that she supplied with that um, that came in that box loved it and I made the longer line one but I wanted to try the cropped one and it, this is so cute now it's it's oversized I would call this an oversized which is the style of the um, of the pattern I would say this one feels more oversized than the other one I made because of the fabric so this is a linen spandex knit um, and this has more stretch and recovery than a lot of linen knits that I've worked with in the past, which is lovely, but linen does grow, um, especially when it, um, gets heated up by the body. So this is a little bit slouchier, but because it's shorter, I think that it really, really works. Um, so I made the size 14 in the larger size range because that included the, uh, D cup, uh, bust and, um, cropped length. Let's see. I shortened the sleeves by an inch, shortened the body by an inch, used these really fun buttons for my stash. Aren't those cool? I got those from, gosh, where did I get those? Those are not from Style Maker. You know what? I think I may have cut those off of an old blazer, to be honest. Now that I'm thinking about it, like a men's blazer. Anyway, they were in my stash. Now they're on my <laughs> cardigan. And uh, the linen net just makes for a really nice light layer. Um, I got the fabric from Minerva. It came in a few different colors. I would highly recommend this fabric. Again, it's a linen knit, so it's natural. Um, and it's got great stretch and recovery, which is not often the case with linen. And I, yeah, it's, and, it, and they had it in a lot of colors. So I'll leave a link down to the fabric in the description box. My front band is doing something weird, but I think I popped this in the dryer just to kind of shrink it up a little. Um, I think I actually need to iron it. <laughs> And then I'm not hanging this on a hanger. I'm folding this up because it grows. So um, it's all kind of wrinkly. But I think I will actually hit this with an iron as soon as I'm finished filming. But this is the Marlowe. It is lovely. Um, and just a great, really great little layering piece. Okay. Next up, really quick and easy make. This is another Cashmere at Carlisle. Um, with the beautiful um, square neckline. This was the fur, no, second pattern in the Cashmere at Club. Um, you can still get this if you are an all access member. So I think that's the top tier. It could be the middle and the top tier. The bottom tier, which I'm a member of, you don't have access to past patterns, but I've been a member of that tier since the beginning. So I've gotten all of the patterns up through now, uh, but you still can get older patterns if you sign up at one of the higher tiers, which honestly, what she offers, you know, fitting videos, um, like little workshop. I mean, it's pretty impressive what she offers at the higher tiers. Um, yeah, so definitely go have a look. I'll leave a link to the club below because that's the only way you can get this pattern now. But it uh, mix and matches with everything that is con the Concord. And now I'm trying to remember if I used, I can't remember if this is a straight Carlisle or if I used Concord sleeves, but I did, I <laughs> can't remember now, but I did um, short sleeves and the beautiful, um, I just love this neckline. It's one of my favorites in this really fun spring green. This is a color on my color card that I just wasn't sure about, but I really love it on me. And actually this is not too different 
from my Emilion pants that you guys saw, my Shoe Charlotte Emilion pants that are the high-waisted paper bag pants. Um, and I think Sunday is supposed to be only a high of 66. So I think you're probably going to see this next week on Me Made May. Um, cause someone suggested that like you should wear that Carlisle with your paper bag pants and your Metro blazer for like a monochromatic look and then the blazer. And I said, oh my gosh, that's amazing with my gingham slides. So that I think is gonna be when I wear to church. You'll see me in on Sunday, but you won't see that until uh, next week because I go from Sunday to Saturday with the um, roundup videos. Love this t-shirt so much. It's just a fun pop of color. I love it. I've ooh, got on my navy glissandos today. I love it with the navy glissandos. Love it with jeans, love it with the white. Love it with the khaki. I mean, my upland trousers. It's just a really great, fun pop of color. Love the neckline. I make the size 10 uh, with the GH cup, but I grade out to the 12 at the waist because she just drafts for a curvier figure than what I am through my waist. So um, I do that and everything else size 10 and it works perfectly. Okay, I had a lot of people comment on this top. Um, I was wearing it. Now I'm trying to remember. I was wearing it in um, my video for my athleisure wear, I think, wasn't I? Anyway, and I'm also wearing this in the video that's up today on the Love Notions channel. This is my new Rhapsody blouse. The fabric is wonderful. I did the three-quarter length uh, bishop sleeves. Uh, I did a very, like, clean finish on the neck. Um, so the neckline here at the V is finished off kind of like a, a continuous lap, and then I do, like I mentioned, the um, like a bias tape finish on that front. And then I finished off the hem also with the fabric. This is a Rayon Chalet. I think this is a Dashwood Studios Rayon Chalet that I got from Minerva. It is beautiful. Now, some of these colors are probably a little bit cooler than what I should wear, but it, I don't care. <laughs> I love it so much. I think it's the greens, but it does have my spring green in it as well. And it's got that cobalt blue in there, this part of my color palette. And it's got this real warm, bright little pops of red that are in there and this warm peach that's also in my color palette. So we're gonna call this a win, um, but I just love this fabric. Love it in this top. It's a perfect match. So excited to add this to my wardrobe. Um, I make the size medium with the full bust. I shorten the body by an inch and that's it. That's the only adjustments that I've made to this pattern. Um, it's got you know the yoke in the back with the pleated there. Um, it's just great for a little half tucking. I have kind of come to the determination that I need to be wearing something on my arms, um, even in the hot weather, just because I, I, I'm just more sensitive to the sun than I used to be. I'm worried that means another autoimmune <laughs> disease to add to my list, but we'll bring that up with my doctor next time. We'll be fine, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll figure that out. Uh, but yes, for now, lots of SPF and sleeves are my friends in the um, bright sunny months. Love this one. Okay, and finally, I made the Cashmerette Vernon shirt. And I made it in this beautiful Lady McElroy cotton lawn. I'm gonna come up close to the camera so you can see the amazingness that is this shirt. It is, it's so gorgeous. It has <laughs> so many random things on it, but the colors are absolute perfection. There's like a toucan on here, but then there's also like a little bluebird. <laughs> Um, so things that don't necessarily go together. There's the butterflies that you can see. There's like little pineapples. Um, I, the spring green, obviously, background is exactly what I was going for. I love the bright pops of orange that show up in these. Uh, there's like hibiscus flowers that are in like a salmon color. But then my, my uh, real warm orange on the butterflies. There's peaches. I mean, it's just such a loud and crazy print, but it... It marries with this shirt so well. So I finally bit the bullet and bought the Vernon shirt. <laughs> this is view A, I think. So this has the um, regular sleeve. It gets gathered into a very thin little cuff. So very much like blouse, you know? Um, it's got the standard collar and the button front. Um, I shortened the body by an inch and I shortened the sleeves by an inch. I um, made the size 10, graded out with the GH cup, graded out to a 12 at the waist. And I finished off the hem with its own bias tape. Um, what else? This has a collar and a collar stand. Um, 
it's just a lovely shirt. There's a yoke and then the pleat in the back. I didn't try and match up any of the pattern because it's just so over, all over the place, but I think it really, really works. I had this on the other day. God, there's strawberries on this. <laughs> I just love this. The placket on the sleeve is a continuous lap placket, um, which finishes off nice. I mean, Jenny's uh, instructions are always just on point and this is no exception. I've also made the other view um, with the hidden button placket and the lantern sleeve that I made out of some shirting that I got from Destashify. So you'll see that in my Destashify video next week, um, that version, which I equally love. And um, yeah, it's just a really, really great blouse pattern. Now, I know people are gonna ask me to compare it to my tried and true uh, Lisa Lynn Co. Classic shirt. And I'm gonna say that they're two different shirts. Even though this is a button-up shirt with a dart, like the Lisa Lynn Co. Classic shirt, it's got details on it that aren't your standard like button up shirt. Um, so for instance, the Lisa Co. Classic shirt has got the nice thick cuffs with a tower placket. This just has a nicely gathered sleeve with a continuous lap placket, more of a blouse. Like I would make this um, easily in like a silk or something like that. It's got the really thin cuff that's on there. Um, and the same with the hidden button placket and the fun lantern sleeve. I think that this is, I mean, this is a great pattern. I highly recommend this, but I think I will, I would still pick the Lisa & Co. Classic shirt for my tried and true button up standard shirt. This is just a really fun one to play around with just some different details and it is lovely. If you like cashmere patterns, I highly recommend it. Um, the Harrison shirt that they also have has princess seams. Um, so it's a little bit more fitted, uh, a little different, but this just has the dart. So a little bit looser, a little bit more relaxed. It's just lovely. And I can't wait to share you, show you my second version I made too. Um, and they came together really, really quickly. Um, didn't do anything fancy with the, um, construction. I just, I mean, shirts get finished off pretty cleanly on the inside, you know, like with your, um, color stands and all that kind of stuff. But I went ahead and just sewed and surged my side seams and my shoulder seams. Like there's no, there's no French seaming in there. It's all just surged. Um, and then I use these beautiful, their muscle like a shell button from uh, Minerva. I bought some mother of pearl ones and then I bought these muscle ones and um, they're just kind of something different, a little more blouse weight and they work really, really well. So I am loving this shirt and just finding everything about it to be wonderful. So. <laughs> So there you have it guys. Those are my four newest tops that I brought into my wardrobe this spring for my spring capsule. Again, this is the last of the spring capsule that we're gonna be talking about because at the beginning of June, uh, the summer capsule is gonna be released and um, I'll be talking all about summer capsules, which is probably gonna involve a lot of dress making this summer. I just love wearing dresses in the summer. That I mean, there's usually a couple of dresses in the capsule. I'll probably go well above and beyond that just because that's my preference for the summer. I will have some shirts and shorts um, in my capsule, but big fan of dresses in the summer. <laughs> it's just cooler. So yeah, we'll be exploring kind of um, how I'm gonna wear dresses to be nice and cool and also keep myself <laughs> covered somewhat in the summer months. Um, you know, how do you get your vitamin D but not get swollen from the sun? Because that's what happened to me at my son's soccer game. I didn't get burnt. I, you know, I got home and once I had, you know, been inside for a while, there was no leftover burn, but my skin was hurt to touch it. Not like it was burnt, but like it was overly stretched and swollen. So I got swollen from the sun. Just the areas that hit the sun. So like my arms, even though I had 50 SPF on everywhere, like my chest, um, I had a big hat on so my face was pretty protected. So it was really just those areas that were like extra swollen. And I have broken out in hives and stuff from sun, like a sun rash before. Um, it's just been a couple of years. So I'm just really <laughs> worried that that's gonna get worse. I'm pretty much a vampire in the summer anyway and that hasn't really, I've kind of been that way my whole life because I am fair skinned. But um, yeah, I may be having to go even further into the vampire <laughs> mode. We'll see, woo. All right guys, that's all I have for today. Uh, going forward, I'm currently working on some things for my daughter, so you're gonna have a Destashify video. I'm gonna show you, I picked up two really cool fabrics from Destashify this month. I've got one for myself and one for my daughter. Um, I've got a video of just some things I've been sewing for my daughter. I have four things to show you guys uh, that I've made for her recently that you haven't seen yet or that I'm making right now for her. 
Um, what else do we have? I'm gonna do a Me Made May roundup, and um, I'm hopeful to have kind of a, a baby announcement, we'll call it a baby announcement, um, on the channel at the beginning of June as well, with something I've been working on with a much larger announcement to come in July. So, that's kind of what we got going on. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!